الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلى الله على النبي الكريم This is the room where Sheikh Usman bin Afodio, a great Islamic reformer in the West African sub-region and here in northern Nigeria where he was buried. His grave is here with his two sons, Muhammad Gallo and Sultan Atiku. This room also is the room of his wife named Hawawu. So Sheikh Usman bin Afodio established a jihad to confirm, to establish social justice in 1804, where he met uh, Hausa rulers, the then Hausa kingdom rulers. They are practicing their rule against uh, social justice. So she was born in Maratha, in Niger, now in Niger Republic. So his father, Muhammad Fuidu, migrated from Maratha and settled in Egypt, in Nigeria, now in Guadalupe, local government of Sokoto State. So from there, he studied under the care of his father, Muhammad Fuadu, for 20 years. When he learned many Arabic books here, that is the Vianat, then he saw what is going on in House of Kingdom. She was not contacted by that time about the social justice meeting against the masses. Mm. So he started to preach. Mm. He started to preach. He did not found the non-Muslims in this kingdom, but he found for the reforming of the Islamic religion. Mm. So, they saw Shehu a threat for them. Mm. So Shehu continued with his religion and people are understanding him, people are following him. Mm. Until he started to gather momentum. Mm. When he gathered momentum, then he faced challenges mm. from these three kingdoms. Mm. From the Mughal Kingdom, Kebi Kingdom, mm. and the Mughal Kingdom. Mm. They were war against him. Mm. And they, they molested all the followers. Mm. That was what necessitated Shehu mm. to leave his hometown, Daga, mm. and migrate to Udu. Mm. Udu is now in Gongwano, mm. Tanga's local government area of Sokoto State, mm. a distance of about 70 kilometers from the state capital. Mm. So there he established a greatest university of Islam. Mm. He taught, he graduated many sheikhs, mm. many big, big scholars. Mm. So when, he th when they saw there are these rulers, mm. so they, they plan to go there and defeat Shehu finally. Mm. So Shehu heard of this and he started to encourage his people to get ready for the jihad. Sure. Yes, the Zalama, the, 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 the rulers are coming with their full forces to defeat him. Mm. So they fought a decisive battle in the history of this caliphate, mm. which have been never fought. Mm. The place is called Kwato. Mm. So the Gobir forces. Mm more than one thousands of hundreds of armies mm. on donkeys, on elephants, on uh, camels. camels. Horses. Yes. But the Mumenu, the believers, the Shofus, the Ma'a have nothing. Mm. They have no big weapons, they have nothing. So they fought that uh, historical battle at uh, Kwatu. Mm. It's a lake there. Mm. It attracts tourists from all parts of the world. They go there and visit it. So, yes, so, and uh, uh, she will emerge victorious with a little jama'ah over these uh, hundred thousands of armies. So, so there is a book called Tazeeen al mm -hmm. Sheikh Abdullah Hawandu, who is the Kalamul, uh, uh, who is the Lesan al Caliphate, mm -hmm. wrote that uh, they, all what happened there. Mm -hmm. So, after that, she established an Islamic Caliphate. Mm -hmm. Oh, not in Sokoto State, but in the entire mm. region. Now, Kebi, Sokoto, Kwara, Kanu, mm. uh, Adamawa, mm. he gave the plug mm. to a sheikh, please go to area, so, so, so particular area, and establish social justice there under this. Sure. So he gave about 19 plugs. From the flags? Flags. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. And the Islamic Sharia is, is being implemented 100% yes. right. until when the caliphate came to its brutal end by the British. When okay. the caliphate was invaded yeah. and they put their own leader. We were talking about the uh, late place of uh, Hazrat uh, Mawlana Sheikh Osman Danfudyu who reformed Islam 
in North Nigeria and in Africa, inshallah. And his teaching is still being taught in the universities up till now because of his uh, commitment, because of his sincerity, and because of his knowledge, and because he wanted actually to reform Islam and bring social justice or, or, or of Islam to the community. He was fighting the Muslim leaders who were corrupt at the time and who were very bad and making zulm to the community and to the citizens of the area, especially to the Hausa uh, tribe. And he managed with his followers to remove this tyranny and establish the social justice of Islam in this area. My appeal to you, young men and women, come and know your history. Your history in Africa, your history in West Africa, North Africa, East Africa, South Africa, in Asia and different places. If you don't know your history, if you don't understand your history, you will never be able to create a, 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 a sustainable presence and even to talk about the future of your generation to come. Come and help, come and see, come and learn from those people what they have been doing over the past centuries to help you understanding Islam, where you are nowadays, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair, Jazakumullah khair, may Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.